In somewhat related news, Iran's defense ministry revealed on Thursday that it had just launched a massive drone exercise aimed at showcasing the country's military capabilities. Entitled Beit al-Makdis in reference to Jerusalem, the revelation also appears to be overtly aimed at intimidating the Jewish state. Now, according to Iranian news agencies, at least 50 drones based on the United States' Sentinel model, as well as several other combat-ready models, were reported to be operating simultaneously and at distances of over a thousand kilometers apart from one another. Iranian military leaders also noted that this exercise will practice the ability to, quote, design and plan co-flying UAVs in small geographic areas. Additionally, Iran claims that their drones are advanced, Iranian-made versions of models like the American MQ-1 Predator drones, with IRGC officials like Major General Rashid going on to exclaim that today we are witnessing the strongest maneuvers of the IRGC's aerospace forces, and that Iran's enemies will be humiliated and shamed. That being said, images released by the FARS news agency seems to belie Iran's boasts, as first, the drones are not shown in flight save for sporadic sightings. And second, in a photo published by Farce News on Twitter, some of the so-called advanced drones are even seen latched onto the top of pickup trucks, and it remains unclear why that would be necessary. But at any rate, in the midst of Iran's threats regarding its oil shipments in the Persian Gulf and through the Strait of Hormuz, as well as its continued destabilization in the Middle East both directly and by proxy, all regional parties are taking these latest developments seriously.